गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग गुड मॉर्निंग इंश्योरेंस कंपाउंडर स्टेथोस्कोप एंड ऑक्सीमीटर चलो एनी प्री एक्सिस्टिंग डिजीज अस्थमा नो 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 डायबिटीज नो नो ब्लड प्रेशर नो 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 नेवर नेवर कोविड नो नो नेवर एडमिटेड टू हॉस्पिटल बिफोर नो 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 नेवर अर्ज किया है इरशाद 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 ठीक है फूल खिलते हैं बाहरों का समा होता है फूल खिलते हैं बाहरों का समा होता है ऐसे उम्र में ही तो डायबिटीज जवा होता है दिल की बातों को होठों से नहीं कहते ये फसाना तो निगाहों से बया होता है Hey folks, C A Rachna Ranade here, and I welcome you all to a very, very important video wherein we are going to discuss top five mistakes that people do while taking a term insurance. Now, why did I do this video? Because when we are done this video on top five mistakes that you should avoid while taking a health insurance, in the comment section, many people were like, "We really loved this video. It was very good input for us." So you all had requested me to do a similar video video for term insurance, and that is the reason why we are coming up with this video today. The very first mistake is choosing the wrong payout option. Now what is this? I'll give you a simple example for that. You might have heard stories about people winning lotteries of crores of rupees or you might have even story heard stories of people who won the Kaun Banega Karodpati game but eventually they went bankrupt. Why did this they, why did this happen? Because they knew how to earn money but they did not know what to do with so much money when especially it is received all at once. what could a similar analogy be let me again give you another example assume this is a family mr a mrs a and their two children and unfortunately mr a dies now assume that this person had a sum assured of let us say 2 crore rupees what could happen they could receive 2 crores at one shot agreed but if they are not aware of what to do with these 2 crore rupees could there be a financial mismanagement and eventually they could also end up in pain so what could be the solution for this solution possibility number 1 you can go for a monthly payout option so in case of demise of mr a this family would would get x rupees whatever is pre decided on a monthly basis which will ensure that their day to day routine is not disturbed but then there is another problem could there be a possibility that there could be some contingent happening wherein they would also need a lump sum in lump sum money for that you have another option wherein instead of only monthly income to be given to them they will get number 1 lump sum money plus they will also keep on getting some monthly payout option so instead of going with one shot lump sum i gave you two options possibility number 1 go for a monthly payout possibility number 2 a small lump sum plus a monthly payout option the second mistake is delaying the purchase of term plan now what could happen here many people who are in their early 20s or in their early 30s they are like why do i need a term insurance why do i need a life insurance mala kay dhad bharli hai ka and what could happen is that when they are nearing their 40s that is when maybe their body will start showing certain signs of aging and all and that might be the time that they realize i think i should have an a life insurance but then let's try and compare the premium that they would have to pay at the age of 40 with had they started their term plan at the age of 20 exactly that would be the amount of premium so i hope you are realizing that if you start with your life insurance at a pretty early age your premiums are way too lower if you start as compared to a policy at a late age in simple words the thumb rule is earlier the better before moving to the third mistake let me tell you a fact that will blow up your mind 
only 17% of the Indian millennials, Indian millennials is currently in the age group of 25 to 35, only 17% of them have taken a term insurance. Now, just in case if you are out of the balance people who have never taken a term insurance till date, and if you are wanting to buy a term insurance, let me tell you that Ditto is an insurance advisory platform which is backed by Zeroda, and these guys are the ones who are very famous even for fin shots. They are the ones who offer you with three amazing things. Number one, they'll give you spam free advice. So no need to worry. None of their agents will keep on calling you and none of them are going to send you unnecessary WhatsApp messages. So very important. They're going to give you a spam free advice. Number two, you will get a free consultation. Now, why is this important? If you decide to buy a term plan and you are not sure which one suits you, these guys will help you to suggest you a term plan which suits your requirements and very important third point is that they will not only suggest you they will also help you to buy the term insurance not only that just in case if you were to claim the policy in that case they'll help you even during the claim assistance if you want to know more about ditto don't forget to check out the link in the description box below and very important don't delay your decision of buying the term plan well, now that you're convinced that you should not delay buying the term insurance, there is one more thing that you should not delay. And that is smashing the like button. With that, let's move on with the third mistake. And that is inadequate sum assured. Let's go back to our same example of Mr. A, Mrs. A and their two kids. When Mr. A took out his term insurance, at that time, his salary was 10 lakh rupees. So ideally, his sum cover should be at least 5 to 10 times of his income. And what Mr. A had done, he had covered his life with 10 times of his annual income. So what could his sum assured could have been? It could have been 10 lakhs multiplied by 10, that is 1 crore. Now understand, do you think that 1 crore at this point in time sounds more than enough? Answer is yes. But now imagine that his demise would have happened 10 years later. 10 years later, value of 1 crore versus value of 1 crore today. Is there a big difference? Answer is obviously yes. And why is that difference? Difference is majorly because of inflation. Now, ideally, should you be adjusting your sum assured when you are alive? Absolutely, yes. So what could be a simple solution for that? While you are taking out your term insurance policy, ideally, you should top up your term insurance every single year. But you need not top up it physically every year. While you take out the policy, you should just define that my term insurance ka sum assured should go up every year by dash percentage. Now, dash percentage, you could ideally match up with inflation, say 6%. Now, you can also define that 6% increase in sum assured should happen till when? Till, let us say, your uh, your uh, policy is there, let us say, for 20 years. You can say that this 6% should increase till my sum assured is doubled. Or you could also say that this 6% increase should happen till I... Uh, be, till I be of age, let us say 45 or 50 or whatever. This specific will, this specific thing will ensure that your sum assured takes care of the inflation as well. So I hope you have understood that sum assured is not important only as on date, but it should be adjusted with inflation. Let's move on with the fourth mistake and that is not opting for riders. Now, riders ka simple meaning is add-ons. I'll give you an example for that. Assume you go to a coffee shop and ask for a cappuccino. Now the person who is going to serve you coffee might ask, ma'am, would you want to have extra cream? And I'll be like, yes. Extra chocolate chips? Yes. Extra anything? Yes. But then if uh, he tells you that this is going to be chargeable, you'll be like, ah, nah, 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 nah. same logic is applied by many people for a term policy as well. Now, when you compare a term policy with a cold coffee, cold coffee will be just like a pure term. The top-ups top for the coffee can be compared with riders. Now, I'll give you an example of a rider. Rider can be for a critical illness as well. Critical illness can be, example can be like cancer. Now, if a person opts for a rider of critical illness and unfortunately, if that person dies because of that, then the family members will not only get the sum assured, but also will get an additional payout for that. So, always remember, paid I mean, making an extra payment for riders is still beneficial because your family members are going to get an additional payout other than the sum assured. Moving on to our last mistake, which is providing incorrect information. 
Like if you remember in the pre-bumper of the video, this person had not disclosed certain information. Now, what could happen if a person dies because of a pre-existing disease and if this was not disclosed while taking out the term plan or any insurance policy for that matter, in that case, his family members might not get the claim. That is, the claim will be rejected. So, don't take such risks. Ideally, as a, a person, you should be disclosing all pre-existing ailments to ensure that the claim settlement happens smoothly. Well, I hope you have understood about all the mistakes that you should avoid while taking a term insurance. If you want to know more about term insurance, you can click here. And if you want to learn more about mistakes that you should avoid while buying a health insurance, click here. Till then, take care. Jai Hind and bye-bye.